Boom, baby. We got a Boomachino. Delish. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Aljamain Sterling. He defended his title against Henry Cejudo. Um, that was an amazing fight. I was actually there live. Um, such a technical battle. You know, uh, kind of cool to see Aljo score a couple takedowns against an Olympic champion. And that just goes to show, you know, MMA is different than just wrestling. You know, like fighting is different than any individual art of the sport. Um, it's about putting it all together, mixing it up. You know, Aljamain uses the cage really well. That's where he took him down. He saw like Cejudo was trying to do those splits and kind of uh, defend with everything he had there, but he just couldn't, you know. Uh, but but Henry did a good job at getting up and kind of negating those takedowns. You know, he didn't take a lot of damage there. Uh, so that was good for him. But, um, you know, I, after that fight, I was I was thinking, because obviously they brought Sugar Sean O'Malley in, and he's the next contender. Um, they're trying to make that fight as soon as possible. We all know the UFC, you know, that's that's their golden boy, and they want him to win. And, and uh, that's pretty much the money fight at Bantamweight. So that's, you know... Great for Aljo, you know, he, he got that fight now, you know, with pay-per-view points and everything. He gets on a big card with O'Malley, like, he's probably going to make the biggest payday of his life. But honestly, like, we all respect and love the fact that, you know, Marab and Aljo have the friendship and they'll never fight each other. And I completely agree with that point of view and that perspective of things, like, for both of them. But, like, I was thinking earlier, like, why not at least come together and have the conversation of, like, hey, we can make a shit ton of money if we blow this up. Whatever it is, this is the entertainment business now, right? More than ever. Uh, they sign, you know, with WWE. Uh, it just seems like the direction it's moving is more towards entertainment than just pure fighting. So think about a storyline where maybe something happens. You know, Aljo's doing a great job on YouTube with all his content. You know, whatever. Like Aljo Marab, they have a split. Something happened, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, they can still be friends when it's all said and done. Like a lot of these fighters are, right? They fight and then they respect each other and then they're cool. You know... They are punching each other in the face in the gym. Granted, it's not the worst intentions. They're not trying to knock each other out, but they are sparring hard, you know, and they are, you know, essentially going back and forth in the gym for free. So let's just say they talk to each other. They sit down with the UFC. They go over a number that makes sense to them. Hey, we won't fight each other unless it's for this, you know, like we're down for this kind of payday. Maybe the UFC goes forward with it, you know, maybe they plan a way to build it up, you know, different YouTube content, different marketing, different promotional value that goes into that, you know, where there's a big storyline there. I'm just saying, like, I think that can make a shit ton of money if they could figure out a way to kind of split as friends, you know, make up some some reason why, you know, some storyline about this, that. Then they're going to fight each other. And, you know, they can always discuss. And, and, of course, nobody wants a fake fight. You know, that's not what's going to happen. It's obviously a fight. But they spar all the time. So let's just say, hey, we're going to go spar, you know, and make millions of dollars together. Because we helped each other get here. And now we're here. And now we're going to help each other get more and more money. The biggest money of each other's lives. So, like... I was just thinking that's kind of an idea, you know, but that's up to them, you know, friendship, loyalty, all that stuff matters, and I'm with that 100%, but it was just an idea that I was thinking, like, man, they can really set this up big, like, if they really wanted to, you know, like, I don't know, if my brother was in the UFC and he was a weight class above, I would definitely sit down with him and be like, yo, fuck it, let's fight each other, let's just get, let's get a storyline going for some big fucking money, see what happens, you know. But hey, I mean, I understand that it's it's a tough thing to navigate, but I just think there's some big money to be made. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Boom, baby.